Okay, guys, welcome for SolidWorks uh, basic session where I'm going to introduce the, the overall software and how we are going to use it. And also I'm going to focus on some basic sketching uh, commands, okay? And hopefully this will benefit you. So today we are be talking about how to access SolidWorks using Citrix. That has been shared with you in another guideline also. And then we will go for, I'll show you different modes of SolidWorks software. And uh, the third session is where I will explain the user environment of the software. How, what are the tools? What are the options available in this? Then we will jump into basic 2D sketching. And you need this for your assignment, which I will explain at the end. It's a small assignment which you have to do and complete and upload it on Blackboard. Okay. So let's jump into this and inshallah uh, have the fun while loving it, okay? While learning new things. So the first thing I want you to focus on is accessing SOLIDWORKS, which can be, uh, if you are in QU student ID, you can access the SOLIDWORKS using this link. So uh, this has been shared with you also before. I'm going to paste, uh, paste it in Blackboard. And what you can do is access SOLIDWORKS from anywhere using this link. So if I just paste this link here, it will take me to a Citrix gateway where you can log in using your Qatar University ID and password, which is your student ID and password. So I want you to log in using student ID and password. Why? Because um, the assignment you will do will have your uh, student name automatically when you save your file. Okay. So I click on detect receiver and you just uh, wait for a while and then it will open to this page. Once you are on this page, you can click on this button called apps. Inside this, you have the whole library of all the apps we have. And at the last, you can find this SOLIDWORKS 2020. I want you to click this. It will take some time and then load SOLIDWORKS in Citrix. Okay. And uh, that's how you access SOLIDWORKS using Citrix. But make sure, so when I have this thing here, make sure there is no programs which are running while using Citrix SOLIDWORKS because it takes a lot of memory and it can cause problem or crash the software in the middle if you are doing so. Okay. So make sure Engineer, you're not using the, uh, you're not reusing the uh, other softwares while doing it. So now I want to uh, I give you some brief instruction on how to save your file using Citrix. That's very important because saving the file can be a challenge for you in Citrix. So let's get through this, inshallah, and then we'll proceed into our lab also. So if you click on file in SOLIDWORKS and I can make anything. So in the beginning, you will not have anything. But let's um, uh, in, if, in case I have any part which I am working on the model or the sketch or anything, how to save it. So once it's open, uh, let me show you how it's done. Uh, the, guys, as you can see, as you can see in Citrix, things can be very heavy when you're loading it because I'm running multiple softwares, but it is recommended to close everything and then start working on it. If I have this simple sketch in Citrix, I want you to save it uh, like this. Go to file and then go to save as. And then in the save as you can, uh, instead of going directly and saving it on the desktop, I want you to go to your desktop like this. Okay. So if I go here, uh, on the left side and click on uh, desktop, if you can see here desktop, the desktop which you will find here is not your original desktop in Citrix. So what you have, uh, how I want you to go through desktop is not through this. I want you to go to your PC, go to this PC, it says here, and then go, go and choose your local drive, which is C. So go down here, scroll down and choose the C drive for you. So in this case, it's C. If I click on this, it will go inside. And then in C, I want you to go to users. So step one is this PC and then C drive. Then click on users. In users, you will have maybe many profiles here. Can be administrator, can be public. I want you to choose the one with your student name. You will have this if you open the SOLIDWORKS in Citrix. So choose your username. And then this is the, uh, in that you can click on your desktop here. And this is the actual desktop which you will be having for in front of your PC. So I'll repeat one more time. Go to your this PC. In this PC, you, I want you to go to uh, the C drive. In the C drive, I want you to go to users. 
and then in the users folder i want you to go to the folder with your student name and once you click on this this will show all the actual folders in your uh, laptop or wherever you're using it from then click on desktop and then another important tip once you are inside desktop i want you to right click here and create a new folder always create a new folder for any project which you are doing so i i will just rename it as one underscore solidworks lab one and i will also write practice okay so always create a folder for uh, whatever you want to save in citrix and keep all the related files for that in that so double click and open that folder and the part name you can enter once you're inside that folder you can enter the part name here so i will i can write here lab one and then my name and this is my part which is being saved in the desktop so then if you check on the original desktop of your pc you will find this file there okay so that's uh, the major part on how you can access solidworks using citrix if you have any question you can always ask me and I don't uh, and I can do help you with that further okay